breaking news here on NBA Weekly. And I am so happy that I am the one on air who gets to announce this to you. It seems that the Cleveland Cavaliers have not traded away Kevin Love. They have actually signed him to a contract extension, keeping Kevin Love in Cleveland for the foreseeable future. Now, obviously, not what I expected. Not at all what anyone would have expected, considering what we've seen out of Kevin Love over the past couple years. But I consider that with LeBron James heading to Los Angeles, with them having to trade Kyrie Irving to the Celtics, they just don't have anyone else on this team to build around. And if you're going to build around someone on this team, I guess that guy is going to end up being Kevin Love. This, to me, is a weird move. Weird move. I, again, I get it. I understand that you want to keep your great players with the team and you don't want to rebuild. But, boy, oh boy, they are giving Kevin Love a four-year, $120 million extension, making his contract a five-year, $145 million deal. Wow. Wow. $120 fresh dollars to Kevin Love coming off of one of the worst playoff series or one of the worst playoff years of his entire career is truly a stunning one to me. Now I know that Kobe Altman the GM of the Cavs is relatively new to this job and he's made some weird moves over the past couple years but I just want to break it down so far what Kobe Altman has brought to this Cleveland Cavaliers team since he took over for David Griffin. By the way that was one of the worst firings in the NBA over the past decade. I can't believe that the Cavs fired David Griffin on a free agent year for LeBron James. That was weird. But anyway, since Kobe Allman has come into power, this is what has ended up happening. Kyrie Irving has been traded for Isaiah Thomas, who ended up having to get moved. They had to move Jay Crowder as well, the, another player that they got for that. And they made a midseason trade for Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance. Jordan Clarkson ended up being one of the worst players on the entire team throughout the playoffs. They go into the offseason. They have lost LeBron James. They lost Jeff Green. They made a nice draft pick in Colin Sexton, but that really wasn't a difficult pick to make. And now they have given $120 million to Kevin Love coming off the worst playoff performance of his NBA career. Look, I understand the Cavs want to stay relevant. And they kind of need to, seeing as their owner, Dan Gilbert, made everyone sign, that was at least sitting courtside, made them sign three-year premium seat license deals. So they have to have to stay with the Cavs, or at least sit courtside for the next three years. They can sell their tickets, but they're locked into that contract. So if you're the Cavs, you have to fill these seats and put players out there that are actually going to interest people. I guess Kevin Love is that player, but look, I would never give Kevin Love $120 million at this point because now he is officially untradeable. His contract is not tradable at all. You can no longer trade Kevin Love from here until the end of this deal. This is an albatross of a contract. Kevin Love is going to be in Cleveland for this entire deal unless they somehow swallow back another massive contract or attach a first round, two first round picks to him. Five years, $145 million officially for Kevin Love with the rest of his deal with the Cavs. That is a massive, massive contract to give Kevin Love. Let me know in the comments section below, should the Cavs have extended Kevin Love? Give me a one for yes. Give me a two for a no. I'm saying two. That is way too much money to give to Kevin Love. Again, I get it. You lose LeBron James, but I don't think the answer is to then give Kevin Love $120 million. But Kevin Love will be in Cleveland for the foreseeable future.